joining us now by phone, David Rosenberg, chief economist at Rosenberg Research. How do you read the data on the consumer right now, David? Is, is it the high inflation? Is it Omicron or, or something else problematic to you? Well, you know, if it was just about inflation and everybody's been talking about uh, that, well, look at nominal growth is still doing great uh, because companies are raising prices and the volumes are hanging in. Uh, you know, the nominal number, you know, as you said, was negative 1.9. Uh, the consensus was looking for a flattish number. Uh, but ultimately, you know, the contours of the business cycle are ultimately determined, Sarah, not by nominal figures, but by real figures, the real economy. And what really st stood out to me was that real retail sales uh, were negative 2.4 percent uh, in December. That's the worst reading since April of 2020. And it came after a negative 0.6% in November. Now, I guess you could say that there was a lot of uh, pre-holiday buying because of inventory concerns. But we know that the December data didn't contain uh, the pullback in consumer spending that we know happened in restaurants and air travel and uh, accommodation. That's going to be cascading into January. Uh, so that's the big concern is that, uh, you know, the numbers as bad as they were, they're probably going to get worse in January. And, of course, the other kicker is that we don't have any more fiscal stimulus. Uh, I mean, the December number didn't even include the fact that the child tax credit extension, uh, you know, fell by the Fired. wayside. Yeah, December yeah, 16th so these, these was numbers, the last one. These numbers are very troubling. The thing is, it's, it's, hard to, it, it's hard to marry that with what we're hearing from Jamie Dimon, for instance, of J.P. Morgan. Yes, they were facing some cost pressure while their stock dropped, but he was talking about how strong the economy is and how, and how good of shape the consumer is. He sees the data. We saw the recent Bank of America credit card data, which showed double-digit growth over 2019, and continue to hear anecdotes from companies about how strong the consumer is right now. Well, look, um, I guess my only answer to that is you can believe the rhetoric and the narrative uh, from CEOs that have a vested interest in uh, being economic cheerleaders, which, by the way, they always are, or you can just actually look at the hard facts. So the facts on the ground are that the consumer uh, is downshifting. It probably will continue. Uh, and um, that's what the data are suggesting right now. Uh, you got a negative print on manufacturing today of D negative David, 0 0.3. Sorry, yeah. sorry to interrupt that, but, but, but I mean, are you suggesting the bank CEOs are falsely cheering the economy? Uh, well, uh, I'm not going to go on record as saying that, well, but let me just, just say did. that. Well, let me just say, I mean, I could talk, you don't have to mention Jamie Dimon. Uh, the biggest economic cheerleader out there is Jay Powell. Um, but there are economic leaders out there that will always sound positive. I, I remember uh, home building CEOs when I was at Merrill back in 2006 talking about how housing has, uh, it was, was no longer a cyclical sector of the economy. Uh, even as the data were turning down. So I guess, uh, you know, that's the point I'd be making is that, uh, or, or, or maybe J.P. Morgan is the only institution that's seeing rampant growth. I mean, these are aggregate data. Now, of course, look, they're based on a sample. Uh, but the reality is that retail sales plunged. Uh, the consensus was looking for a weak number, but nothing like this. And then you had a downward revision to November. And the Atlanta Fed itself today uh, cut its estimate for real final sales, which is really the root of demand, strips out inventories uh, down to 2% for the fourth quarter. The fourth quarter was supposed to be a boom, 2% real final sales from the Atlanta Fed from 3.8% yesterday and 7% a month ago. Uh, so what I'm saying is that, yes, I guess I would just say broadly speaking, without picking on names, is that you do have to separate uh, narratives and anecdotes from what the actual data are portraying right now. 